the best, most consistent, cohesive, explosive when it comes to the when it comes to the song sequence. Drake album. But the first half is if you're reading this, it's too late. Yo, man. I just gotta pause real quick. Like, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> not gonna cry here but starting off with legend is a very interesting choice this isn't a drake intro that i'm exactly super fond of but it puts drake in this position right now in 2015 ever since you know really truly being clean in the sky with nothing was the same where it's just like it's official it ain't, it ain't a debate of whether he is a great rapper it isn't a debate if he's uh you know if he's gonna stand the test of time he's officially a legend drake could could have ended 2015 with this album and he is would have been still is a legend now going on from there energy 10 bands and know yourself it's like an adrenaline roller coaster that's just pumping you up the entire time so you go on a ride but it doesn't end after like 10 minutes you're going through all the ups and downs the loop de loops but it just continues to get even more aggressive and following that up with energy 10 bands know yourself no telling it just adds that nice flair but a bit of a cool down especially after know yourself because know yourself very amped up uh you know it's nice build up in the beginning until we of course running through the six with our woes but no telling takes the back takes some presses the brakes presses the brakes we get a nice switch up into madonna very melodic uh, melodic slow the candace is superb and from here, we're probably thinking like, all right, now we're going to start getting some slower tracks, but not yet because we're going to continue on to Six God, another amped up roller coaster on here, a banger of a track. And then we're going to transition to Star 67. Star 67. I know I, I, I could I could work on instead of just double, um, saying the name of the track twice. Like, hey, you know, what about Star 67 from the phenomenal beat switch about halfway through this feels like something you want to listen to especially at night very spacious definitely that modern ovo sound that's what i would like to say star 67 holds it's like this modern ovo sound that is just phenomenal and that right there from one through eight legend to star 67 i believe to be the strongest first half for a drake album for, for any of the Drake project. Now, in total, if you're reading this, it's too late. It's about 17 tracks. So, you know, just about half of the project. And this is an album that whenever I did my ranking Drake's discography, I debated putting it at the S with Take Care. I, I was just held back a little bit. But as time continues to go on, I still have Take Care at number one. If you're reading this, it's too late. It's going. I, I can see it right now. I'm, I'm going to say it. If you're reading this, it's too late. It's going to end up being the greatest Drake album for me. And arguably ever. Like, if anybody talking about it, like, I could understand nothing was the same and take care. I mean, I'm taking care right now, but, yo, know, I'm just feeling it with a bit more time. If you're reading this too late, is his magnum opus. And, I mean, hey, with this first half, you, you can see why. Now, I'll get a bit into the second half. I'm not going to say that it falls off or anything but this is where we start getting like different bits of energy throughout like going off from preach to wednesday night interlude we're definitely getting a lot more moody that softer drake that we're used to well with preach we're getting a little bit more tropical with party but wednesday night interlude with party we got the two different versions we got the tropical side of them you know that pop can side of them and then we got the all right we, we're gonna go for the ovio soft side we're gonna go for the ovio soft side and then used to six man now and forever and just going forward, all of these are phenomenal tracks, but that first half is just, there's this, this consist, this focus sequencing with the tracks that it's just flows phenomenal. I mean, overall, the whole project is crazy. Now, actually, I want to throw in this, uh, this side tangent here. The greatest, what, what, what would you say is the greatest three track run on a Drake album? Most recently, because of course I've been, I've been bumping if you're reading this too late a lot. I would have to say going from used to six man now and forever is probably the greatest three track run on, on throughout Drake's discography. Now with this, of course, there are other three track runs that are phenomenal as well. But as of right now, I feel it's unbeatable. It, it really is unbeatable going from here. Six man 
And, you know, we get Drake sort of rapping on a more rapid pace. Whenever he's ending off his verses, he's sort of extending it. He's sort of making it not exactly singing, but a bit more melodic. And it just flows pretty well. Going into Now and Forever, it I, I don't even know the right words to put it right out. It's just such a... It was a different direction than what, what I want to say we've heard from Drake. Even within this project, it just said a different direction. We was like, all right, mainly singing the hook and then sort of just uh, whenever he is going through the verse, it's sort of like rapping it, keeping a bit of breathing room before going on to the next verse, so to speak. Yeah, again, this is part of the side tangent here. So I, I would like to revisit this as um, uh, three track runs throughout his discography. And then You and the Six for his mother. It is a beautiful, beautiful song, extremely introspective, reflective. And to believe it isn't even an outro, it's a, and it's like two, yeah, two songs, two songs off from ending. It's, it's something, something else. Now with that, that's why I believe if you're reading this, it's too late. It's, it has his strongest first half of an album. And then somehow along the way, we ended up talking about how this could be arguably his greatest album, as well as uh, having a phenomenal three track run. I mean, we could also talk about, what is it? From Legend to Energy to 10 bands to to know yourself that's also another phenomenal three track run within the same project i'm getting real excited right i'm talking about music i, I can't help it. I'm, a, I'm gonna listen to this in the web later on definitely 